how you doing? It's big motherfucking shirt of live and surprise on motherfucking YouTube, bitch. And uh, I was highly irritated today. But first, I'm late, y'all. I'm late on my ass big show the Wednesday. You know, with holidays coming up, and we just had that big ass turkey feast and shit yesterday, and everybody was busy. I'm sure y'all can forgive me for this one. But uh, I did get a um, more of a I want your opinion type shit. And she said, <coughs> excuse me. She said, what would I do if I had a boyfriend that asked me to go on a trip? Okay. Nice ass trip. Bahamas type shit. Nice motherfucking hotel rooms, bitch. But I couldn't afford to go. Something happened, and you know what I'm saying? I couldn't afford to pay my motherfucking ticket. I couldn't afford the hotel room, my, my, you know what I'm saying, food and all that shit. Whatever the reason, I couldn't afford to go. So, I tell my boyfriend, well, I can't go this rip, so take a motherfucking friend. Not specifying that I would like you to take a male friend, bitch. Just take a friend. I figured, you know, if you're my man, and... You're going to go on a fucking Honolulu trip, then, you know, you would probably take one of your guy friends and party it up. No, this girl said her man took another motherfucking woman, bitch. Yes, a female friend, not a fucking associate, not a co-worker. It wasn't a business trip. It wasn't his assistant, bitch. Just a female motherfucking friend claiming he's going to sleep on the couch and all that good shit. But what would I do if... I found out my man had done some shit like that. Well, first off, I'm all about letting a motherfucker hang himself. You know, I'm going to let you do what you want to do. I don't ever tell anybody they have to do one thing or the motherfucking other. So, I would be like, go on ahead and do what you do, baby. You know what I'm saying? But as soon as you come back, you might as well stay with that bitch for real. I, you ain't coming back here because there's no telling what happened to her. And I, for one, am not going to sit here and wonder for the rest of our fucking relationship on whether you're telling me the truth or not. Fuck that shit. Fuck that. You shouldn't have took a motherfucking bitch to begin with. So, she did say that it ended up turning out that they did break up. And I think that was the right thing to do. Because you know what? For the rest of her fucking life, the rest of the time she was with that man, all she would have been doing was wondering, did he have sex with her? Did he do something he wasn't supposed to be doing? Did a little bit of tipsy time turn into a little bit of a, uh, you know what I'm saying, bump and grind time? That That's something that you shouldn't have to worry about or shouldn't have to ask yourself. And he made it to where, you know, it was going to be in the back of her mind. And so that was his fault. I believe that was his fault. So uh, I also got requests saying that some people wanted to see uh, tours of my house and a makeup review using blue, white, and black. That's coming here soon. I'm not going to be able to do a tour of my house just yet. I am working on getting a, a camcorder to be able to go mobile. Um, now, uh, I'll be getting Wi-Fi set up here in my house in, in about a week. So, I'll be able to go off my phone and do it. I don't know how good the quality will be. But I am going to try to get me an HD camcorder so I can take y'all outside. Let y'all know how Big Shirley does it up. But... On top of that, y'all see this motherfucker behind me, right? It looks pretty. It's it's a glittering behind me. It's nice. But you also see them motherfucking ornaments? Yeah, right there in that motherfucking box, bitch. Why did I buy some ornaments? Okay, I put the tree together today. All of us put the tree together. And we all put the lights up and was excited. We was ready, bitch. Ready to fucking decorate that tree with them pretty ass motherfucking ornaments back there. And guess what they didn't come with? Motherfucking hooks. Who does that? Why would you fucking send somebody $30 worth of fucking ornaments and not have not one motherfucking thing in the pack or on the ornament to hang on the fucking tree? What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Rubber band them on there, bitch? I don't motherfucking think so. So now I had to tell my kids, no, we got to wait. We can't even motherfucking put the tree up yet and put the tree all the motherfucking way together until I get some fucking hangy thingies for the goddamn ornaments. And that really pissed me off. So, um, I did get a few more aspect. There's my motherfucking kid. Get away from there. Don't touch it. 
But yeah, I did. Don't you touch it. Get away. Come here. But I did get some more Ask Big Shirley's. Um, unfortunately, for some reason, I try to keep them in my inbox so that when I come to do my show every week, that I can keep those handy so I can see what I'm going to be answering when I go to do my Big Shirley's. And for some, they keep getting fucking erased. I don't know what keeps happening to them. I go back to look at them and I can't find no motherfucking questions no more. So, uh, this is what I want y'all to do. Um, from now on, you can either email them to me to MissGoHard83 at gmail.com. Miz is with an MZ. Or you can just wait until Tuesday night and send them all to me Tuesday night. That way, Wednesday morning when I get up and I'm ready to do my big Shirley, I'll have a whole fucking list of them. So uh, let's just do it that way from now on because I'm, I'm missing out on a lot of good questions. And for some reason, they're just not, I, I don't know where the fuck they're going. Maybe my fat ass fingers is just erasing them and I don't know it. I don't fucking know, but they're they're just not here anymore. So let's just do it that way. Either email them to me at missgohard83 at gmail.com or send them to my inbox on YouTube the night before Wednesday, okay? Also, I wanted to uh, thank everybody that showed up to my radio show this last Tuesday night. It was really, really good. The manager of the radio show uh, emailed me back and said that we had a lot of good responses. A lot of people were asking really good questions. Um, they got a lot of good feedback from it, and they have invited me to do it every motherfucking week. So that's what I will be doing on Cream City Classica, bitch. Every motherfucking Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central. I will be live on the motherfucking air. So, y'all make sure you check me out. And a uh, happy Thanksgiving. And let's get this fucking Christmas shit out the motherfucking way, bitch. I'm ready for the holidays to be over. It's draining the shit out of me. So, y'all have a good motherfucking night. If uh, y'all have any requests you want me to talk about or whatever, I'm in a big Shirley making motherfucking mood today. So, email me something. Uh, leave a message, a comment, let me know what you want me to do today, what you want me to talk about, and I'll fucking belt out 20 of these videos in one day if I have to. So just do what you gotta do, and I'll let you on the flip side, bitch.